For today's video, I just want to cover error 3034 or basically it actually meant that you're sending message from an unregistered phone number. So this actually meant that when you had your plat platform in the past and you just did your A to B registration right after and then these numbers were never linked to that newly approve campaign registration that you just did inside your Twilio account or maybe your higher level account, then that's going to result into an error stating that these numbers are not linked to whatever messaging services that you actually registered inside Twilio or your lead connector. So for today's video, I just want to cover our, on how you can properly link those phone numbers um, inside Twilio if you did your registration inside Twilio. All right. So from here or from your Twilio dashboard, you just have to go to the search function and then look in, look and select A to B messaging under the programmable services. As soon as you click on that, you have to go ahead and look for campaigns. So from the left hand menu under regulatory compliance, you have to click on campaigns. And then as soon as you click on campaigns, this is now where you're going to see all of your A to, A to B campaigns that you have submitted inside Twilio. So you, you can see your current um, status for that campaign, whether that's verified, whether that's rejected. So obviously you want to look for that verified campaign that is linked to whatever platforms you're using, like Go High Level or Batch Leads, you know, so depending on which campaign you have link for any of those platforms that that's the one that you have to look for. So from here, you have to click on that campaign SID link. And then you will be routed to this campaign details where you're going to see connected A to B brand details, your campaign SID, your brand registration SID. So from here, all you need to do is click the link under link messaging service. And then you will be routed to another page. So this is the page you'll be routed to. And this is where you're going to have an option to click on add senders to service. So this means that the system is asking you to link any phone numbers you have, let's say existing phone numbers, WhatsApp phone numbers to be linked into this messaging services. So it's actually part of your approved A2P, A2P campaign. So to do this, you just have to click on add senders and then you have to click on the phone um, the phone number uh, type or sender type will be phone number if you're looking to connect a 10 dlc or a 10 digit local phone number obviously if you're using a short code or if it's a whatsapp message uh, whatsapp number you just have to go ahead and click on that specific phone or sender type but for this example we're actually doing or we're trying to link 10 d 10 digit local phone numbers so i'm going to go ahead and click on phone numbers and then hit on continue and as soon as you click on continue you will now be seeing all the phone numbers um, that is integrated inside Twilio. So let's say you have batch leads and you have linked or integrated Twilio to batch leads. So any phone number that is in batch leads will actually show up here. But obviously, it's going to show up as a not a registered phone number or it's actually not linked uh, just because you'd notice under the messaging services that there is, let's say, for this one, it's going to tell you that it's not linked for any messaging services. So to link these phone numbers, all you need to do is select all these phone numbers that you'd like to be linked into this specific A2B campaign. And then from here, click on add phone numbers. And then as soon as you click on add phone numbers, you will now be seeing any phone numbers that is currently not associated to any messaging or A2B um, campaign that you actually did for this account. So all you need to do is click on confirm. Normally, this is actually real time. So as soon as you confirm, you will be getting this notification that all of these phone numbers are now linked to your existing, now linked into your existing A2B campaign registration. Okay, so basically that's the only thing you need to do. And now all of these phone numbers are basically linked into your existing A2B campaign. Hence, you can then avoid error 3034. So again, this normally happens when you haven't linked your phone number into an existing A2P campaign. So it's crucial that we're able to link all your phone numbers properly. If you have any question or still facing issues, 
feel free to reach out anytime.